The second principle of this class is that learning is an inherently active experience. I cannot simply pour information into your heads like in this Calvin and Hobbes comic. Thus, you really shouldn't be spending time during class or while watching the videos asynchronously, passively sitting and, and writing everything down. I mean, everything's recorded after all. There's no reason to write down everything I say. Moreover, the slides with the problems that we do each day in class will be posted to Moodle immediately before class and then updated immediately after class with all the solutions. Instead of writing everything down, therefore, you should be during either class time or watching the videos, A, using ideas to solve problems that are more akin to what homework might have been in other courses, like really complex problems in order to prepare for the exam. Connecting material to stuff you already know. And when I go over the solution to a problem to which you got stuck, make a note of the physics ideas that you didn't understand. And I'll give you a hint. It's never, I forgot such and such formula. There's always some physics concept that you're missing. Take a minute and try and digest what I'm describing and see if you can untangle the physics idea of what you're missing. And then also record and reflect on your mistakes. Making mistakes during class or while you're watching the videos is completely inconsequential. So don't be afraid to not know. Make mistakes. When you do, however, write them down so that you don't make the same mistakes again. The whole point of class should be to make as many different kinds of mistakes as you can. That's how you learn. That's how you get better. Finally, I want to say that Learning is hard. It's a struggle. It's frustrating. And I want you to experience that frustration in an environment where you're supported, either by myself and the rest of the teaching team during class, or on Slack and help sessions if you're watching the videos later. So that's the goal of this course being centered around what's called active learning.